Okay. <clears throat> Hi everyone. My name is SmartAleck24, and I am going to make a quick any percent tutorial for ET the Extraterrestrial for the Atari 2600. You might know this as the worst game ever made, um, but surprisingly the speedrun is okay. Um, so I'm just going to do a tutorial on the uh, any percent route with RNG manipulation. You can beat this game in under a minute. So, um, this guide is mainly for people who want to say that they've beaten E.T., or if they want to get a minute, or under a minute. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into, uh, first I'll talk about, like, the mechanics of the game and everything like that, because this game is kind of confusing. So, real quick, I am playing on, um, my Wii. I am, it's a soft modded Wii. It is, um, I'm, the channel is Atari... Well, Wii 2600, which is an Atari emulator, and uh, you can put Stella on there, which Stella is like the most common Atari emulator, and I'm playing with this controller, so um, for me, the D-pad is like the joystick that you move around, and your main button, or like the big red button on like an Atari controller, for me, it's going to be the A button. Um, doesn't really matter how you map it, but... Um, those are really the only controls you need is to move and to press a button. You can play this on original cartridge, you can play this on an actual emulator on your computer, I'm playing it uh, through my Wii, doesn't really matter. Um, Stella looks the exact same on the Wii as it does on, you know, your PC or whatever, so. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just boot the game up. I'm not actually gonna start a run yet, so... You're gonna play on game mode 1. You don't need to switch to the other game mode. Um, I think it changes difficulty, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. So let me get into the game itself here. So, to start the game, you press the button. Okay. So, uh, real quick, I am going to be pausing like that every once in a while, um, just to show things. So, as you can see on the top in the pink bar, uh... That is, so what will happen sometimes is there will be an arrow, and if you press the button while an arrow is there, you will move to that section of the map. That icon there, you don't need in the run. Don't even worry about it. So, um, to move around is the joystick or the D-pad, whatever it is you're moving. If you hold down the button, you'll run. Um, that's not good. That's fine. Uh... It's just easier for me to do it this way. Okay. So, looks like I hit a pit there, that's fine. So, the objective of the game is you need to get three phone pieces, and then you need to make a call, and then you need to hide for a little bit, or you need to, you know, stay away from, like, the people trying to catch you. And then, if you are in a certain location, you'll beat the game. I've never actually seen this movie, by the way, I probably should. Um, so, let's see. Oh, it looks like I got the best seed without even trying. So, when you fall in a pit, you can move left and right, and to get out, press the button, hold up, and, yeah, you need to be careful because you can immediately fall in a pit again. I picked up a Reese's piece there, by the way. You don't need those for this run. So, let me start this over again. So those are the basic controls. You can run faster by holding the button. Um, if you see an arrow and you press the button, you'll move to that section of the map, and that's going to be used a few times. So I am actually... Well, actually, let me do this real quick. Okay. So you're probably wondering, how do you manipulate this? Because normally these pieces, like the phone pieces are random, um, and where you need to make the call is random. How do you manipulate that? What I'm going to do, I'm going to start the game, I'm going to hold the button the entire way through, and it will start me the exact same time, every time, and that will lock in the RNG. So, there is a cat, there are categories for no RNG manip, and that is, you don't, you don't do what I'm going to show you, but for this one, you are going to do this. So, you're going to hold the button. Um, or if you're playing on if you're playing on the actual console with cartridge, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just have the button held down and either reset it or turn it on and do it this way. 
So the game is immediately starting. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get to the down arrow, and I'm going to press the button, and we're going in a pit. Like that, we're going in this pit. Get this piece, and you get out. Okay. So, oh, there's no real good way to do that, is there? Okay, it's the bottom left pit that you saw. So, this pit that I'm walking underneath, it's that one. That's your first piece. Uh, what did I do? <laughs> so, I'll show that one more time and I'll keep going this time. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna get this piece. We're going up. And then we're going to go up again to the right arrow. You see the arrow that's pointing to the right? We're gonna press the button again, and you're gonna go down the top hole, the one on the top. And then we're gonna go to the one directly below it. All right. We have all the pieces now. So normally that takes a while, because you have to just drop down every single hole and try to find the pieces. We already have them all. So the next uh, task is we need to make a call in a specific location. Fortunately, it is not far at all. So, I'll show you where it is. Gotta be careful. <laughs> gotta be careful of that. Sometimes you'll get trolled like that. Um, welcome to ET for the Atari. Yeah, this game is really bad. <laughs> okay. So you'll see this. I actually have a little arrow here. Okay. See this icon, like this alien or whatever? I don't know what it is, but you need to find that, and you're going to press the button. Okay, so what this is doing now is this is starting a timer. And when the timer hits zero, if you are at the first location of the game, you will beat the game. The spaceship will come down and take you, and you'll win. So the timer is going to count down a little bit, at the start, it's gonna, let me rephrase this, it's gonna start slowly, and then it's gonna do it again, but it'll be faster that time. But don't worry too much, because there's a way to, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. So, what I like to do, and what other people like to do, once it is, once two of like, once it looks like that, once the timer looks like that, the timer is the yellow square, once it looks like that, get in this hole, and just chill here for a while. Nothing you can really do here. <clears throat> so, just chilling for a bit. There is a chance that sometimes this won't work, um, or at least I'm pretty sure. Either that or I'm just bad at this game. Okay, once we're at two triangles left, go ahead and leave. Now the timer's going to start over again, but it's much faster as you can see. So what we're going to do, I'm going to move up a little bit because we need to see the up arrow. Once that blue arrow is pointing up, we're going to press the button. You beat the game. That's it. So, I'm going to run through that again and try to explain this a little bit better. So again, whether you're playing on console or an emulator, make sure you're holding the button once you boot up your game. So we're getting the first piece by going in that first hole. Once that right arrow is there, we're going to press the button, we're going to fall down that first hole, the top one. We're going to go directly below to this one. Get this piece, we have all three pieces, we need to make the call. We're going to get trolled there. I'm going to see if I can try to remember how to avoid that. Actually, I'll show you, I'll try to figure it out right now. I think if you just hold left. Yeah. Nope, that ain't it. Okay. Um, I tell you what, let's try this. I think the way, I think the position of when, where you go in the hole, I think that matters. I can look at the world record video in a second if I need to. Because that is probably going to be a better explanation than what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so you don't want to do that. You want to make sure the arrow is pointing to the right. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're going to go to a different section of the map in this, um... Uh, I wasn't holding the button. Okay, there we go. So again, go to the down arrow, press the button, get the piece, go up, make sure it's pointed to the right, drop down the first hole, we're good to go on that one, 
I'm gonna try to enter the left on that and see if I can get out easier. Okay, I might be able to go below it. Let's see. Yeah, th this... Okay, there we go. Gonna press the button once you see that icon in the middle. <clears throat> you could run around the whole map if you wanted to, but there's no real need. Okay, we're gonna drop down this hole, just hide for a little bit. We're just chilling. So how you doing? Alright, once we're down to two triangles... Okay, that's good enough. We'll get out. Timer's gonna start again. Make sure the arrow is pointing up. Once we're two triangles... There you go. GG. Alright, so real quick, I am just gonna take a look to see if there's a way to avoid falling down that bottom hole multiple times, because... Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, when do they enter it? Don't worry, I have the video right here. Yeah. If you just try to hug the left side, it seems to work. Or at least most of the time. Oops. So I'm gonna do it one more time, and then I'll time it for you. That way we can see it in real time. Gonna get that piece. Make sure it's pointed to the right. Here we go. got all three pieces we're getting out so yeah if any part of you is touching the hole so yeah you could even do something like that where if you know that because the way it works when you get out of the hole you can move a little bit but then at some point like the game checks to see if you're still in the hole and if you are you're just gonna fall again so what you could do is get out, and as soon as you're out, you can look to see like how you can navigate out of the hole. You just need to get out of it. Um, I wish there was better advice I could give for that. But anyways, I'm gonna press the button. Um, can I speed this up by any chance? Nah. I think you get the gist of it. Oh, I should probably point out that guy. If that guy shows up, go ahead and drop. Go ahead and drop. If he catches you, your run's over. You gotta reset. <laughs> just there's no there's no point in trying anything else if you see that guy just drop down the hole immediately it doesn't really matter too much um once we see two triangles that's good enough see the arrow pointing up here we go all right so i'm going to time this for you i'll show you what it looks like when you time the run And for this category, you start on gaining control. You don't start when you actually start the game. That is for no RNG manipulation runs. So just a little heads up there. All right, so as soon as I gain control of ET, that's when I'm gonna start my timer. So holding the button, I'm holding it. Once I gain control, I'm gonna start my timer. And go. So again, we're running faster by pressing A, or holding A, or the button, once you, uh, don't have anything that you can do. So we're making the call by going to this position. It's pretty lenient. You can go anywhere around here. As long as that icon is there, you can press the button and you can make that call. All right, we're going to drop down the hole. That guy even showed up, so we can go ahead and do this. Gonna wait for two triangles, and then at two triangles on the second timer, we're gonna press the button again. All right, that's good enough. Wait until the arrow's up. Two triangles. There we go. I beat the game in under a minute. And you can still be faster than this. If you just practice, like, movement and just really timing things down to, like, the little bit um, you can get a 53. The record's 53. Um, a few people have a 55. Um, but yeah, it's the rest of, the rest of the speedrun comes down to just little things, like little things of, like, movement and stuff like that. Um, that's it. That's, that's how to be E.T. in under a minute, in case any of you, uh, want to give that a shot. Um, but yeah, I think I, I hope I explained everything that needs to be explained. Um... 
because I know some people were looking at the run like, what is going on? So that's why I wanted to make this tutorial. Um, if you're curious about no RNG manip, you play the game the exact same way, except you have to go find the pieces yourself, and you have to find the location to make the call. Um, it's it's that kind of thing. So it's plays it plays the same way, except this way we're manipulating everything. But normally, or like for no RNG manip, you don't manip it that way. So, okay. Well, I think that's going to do it for this tutorial. I didn't want to make it too long or anything. I, there's no point in making this tutorial an hour long or anything. So, all right. Uh, thank you for watching. Good luck on your runs. And uh, yeah, take care, everybody.